And welcome back to our special Quest for the Cup coverage. I'm Kyle Berger inside Amelie Arena. There was little doubt the Lightning missed Braden Point during the playoffs last season. Point tore a quad muscle during the first round series against Toronto. Now fully healthy, Point is having a career year. Yeah, knock on wood, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Braden Point is ready for a healthy postseason. He went down hard in Game 7 against the Maple Leafs last season. He made every attempt possible to return to the playoffs, finally getting back on the ice in Games 1 and 2 of the Stanley Cup Final. But he was not himself. Now healthy, he's having the best season of his career. Well, I've gotten a lot of pucks in a lot of good places. Um, you know, obviously the, the line mates help, the power play is finding me in that hole there. That's helped a ton. Um, and then just being confident to take your turn and shoot the puck, I guess. Rebound, point, score! 50! Point scored 51 goals during the regular season, becoming only the third player in Lightning history to score at least 50 in a season. Joining Steven Stamkos, who did it twice, and Vinny LeCavalier. I think there's only five guys in the league that have 50-plus, uh, and, and he's one of them. And, He's uh, really turned himself into a premier player in this league. Point credits his line mates throughout the season, especially number 86, Nikita Kucherov. Yeah, I mean, he's big. Um, one of the best playmakers in the in the world. So um, obviously I treat the play with him. And yeah, I don't think I would score nearly as much if I wasn't on his line. That's for sure. Kucherov assisted on 39 of Point's 51 goals this season, plus Kuch also assisted on both of Point's goals in Game 1, so I'd say they make a pretty good team. Vanessa? Agreed, agreed. Thank you, Kyle. We'll see you in just a little bit. You know, one thing we see every year during the playoffs here in Tampa, tons of fans stocking up on the latest gear to cheer on the Bolts. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd went to one Tampa store that just received a big shipment of new supplies. When you walk into Heads and Tails, you'll be greeted with a big wall full of brand new lightning apparel, more than a dozen hats and shirts made specifically for this upcoming playoff run. Whether you're watching in Amelie Arena or home on the couch, they want to make sure every fan is game day ready. We have been so excited about this run up to the playoffs in Tampa, getting ready to go for another Stanley Cup. Everything we've been bringing into the store is fresh. We don't want anybody going back to a game wearing the exact same thing. Yeah, you can't wear the same shirt to the game all the time or people start to think you're a fair weather fan. So you got to have a few in the rotation. Heads and Tails says this year's merchandise is a little more nostalgic than playoff runs of the past because the team is celebrating 30 years. And retro is everything right now. The old club logo that you have on the polo. I remember wearing hats like this back when I was uh, a younger guy in my teenage years. Many of these fans stop by the Kennedy Boulevard store on their way from work to the games. What's it like when customers come in and ask what you have that's new? Is it kind of like a Christmas morning as they look and see what they want to buy? It is. And we want to make sure that everybody down to the tiny, tiny little kids are able to support the team. Even the infants, we can do the Thunderbug little onesies here. And they've even put a greater emphasis on selling gear actually made by fans right here in Tampa, like their Erica Williner jewelry line. You might recognize the blue blingy earrings here. Those are actually worn by Sonia, who does the national anthem at all of the Lightning games. But some things in the store never change, just like the team. Uh, Headman, and then of course everyone's favorite, Steven Stamkos, who's been here since the beginning of his career. And new this year, the Lightning are actually sharing the spotlight with another team that certainly knows how to win. Came in to get a Lightning shirt and I ended up getting a Lightning shirt and a Rays shirt. When we are doing well as a community, our sports teams are doing well as a community, everyone wants to be involved in that. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. Still ahead on Quest for the Cup, our sports team crashes the board, plus a history-making moment this season for the Lightning's captain. I knew there was, you know, less than 50 players that, that have done it, so it's, again, it's something that, it's, it's surreal, it, it, it really is. We'll take a look back at the moment Steven Stamkos scored.